We'll see how I get through this one first. Fail. As Epic fail. Mm. Just won't make it. I'll put $100 on it right now. Never will. We'll see about that. Everyone, today I'm visiting Clutch Burger located in Coral Gables. Now the only thing that stands out more than the presentation of the food is the flavor. Each burger here is truly unique and super extra. Hey, what's up, what's Steve? Up? How are you doing? Welcome Hello. to Clutch. What are we having today? We're gonna have a Clutch Burger, of course, because that's the most sexy burger out there. We're also gonna have a My Boy Blue Burger. Nice. Yeah. That one sounds pretty extra. My yeah. Boy Blue. But same my with boy the boys. Blue. <laughs> my boy Blue. My boy. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we specialize in gourmet burgers. We use American Wagyu beef for all red meat burgers. We also pair our burgers with craft beers. We have anywhere from 40 to 50 beers. I like this one already, but I'm just <laughs> trying it for the camera. We're here in my tight little closet sized kitchen. Uh, a lot of magic happens back here. It's for the clutch burger because that's a monster one. It's got two types of cheese. It's got American, it's got Telegio fondue, and then we do our clutch sauce. Half pound patty, boom. It's also got lettuce, tomato, and a steak knife goes to the top of it. Onion ring on the bottom, onion ring on top. You told me that all the menu items here, they have a story. Yeah, there's, there's a little, uh, it makes it more fun, you know, when the staff can explain not just what's in the burger, but like the story behind yeah. the burger. So like example, the My Boy Blue, which is a reference to the movie. You got it, old school. You're my boy blue! But I was gonna say, what about Shroom Boom? But I feel like that one wouldn't be a, a yeah, PG that's, story. Yeah, that's not an on camera. That's, that's a, not an on camera that's story. That's a couple beers in the after hour story, you know? Okay, okay. You also have vegan options. You have the Impossible Burger. So if you don't like meat, you don't eat meat, that's okay. You can still come and have a clutch time. So I'm having now the My Boy Blue. Right? You learn quickly. Oh yeah, when oh it comes God. to food, I learn fast. It'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not your typical... Uh, right mm-hmm. You can tell the difference in the, the texture of the meat. Like For it's sure. extra juicy. And the taste of the blue cheese, it's subtle. See, it's I not, told you. Yeah, it's not dominant or overpowering. So tell me a little bit about the Shut the Clutch Up Challenge. That would be this burger, our clutch burger, with six patties pound of steak up fries, and a milkshake. 15 minutes to eat this, but this times That's like three. three. If you do it, you get a VIP clutch card, which gives you free burgers for a year. That's one burger a month for 12 months. Estrus. And what's the next challenge? Uh, you have to schedule it. You have to just do a 24 hour heads up. Where do you draw your inspiration from for the menu items? Designing the flavor profile is really the wife's doing. Yeah. She's a savage in the kitchen, so. She can tell you this goes with this, this, this pairs well with that. Some friends of mine helped me too in the beginning mm -hmm. uh, that uh, have a lot of experience in the culinary world. So we kind of just had like a meeting of the minds and it was like one of those rare opportunities where people are like, hey, let's start a restaurant. What are people doing too often and what aren't people doing enough? And let's pick those items and put them together and see how it works. I'd say the first three months that we were open, we probably changed our menu over a dozen times. Oh, right. Just from feedback, you know, there's too much of this or not enough of that. The idea to, to start a restaurant, it was just a kind of a random thought that came about with your friends? Yeah, it, it, was, it was really just with... Because things are like, oh, I'm just going to make a restaurant, you yeah, know? It's a, it's a great question. Yeah. Uh, before, before Clutch Burger, I was working in a much larger uh, restaurant group. Okay. And they gave me all the tools in how to properly open a restaurant how to operationally be successful. We knew, you know, they always say solve a problem with any new business idea. My problem here in South Florida was there's no good gourmet burger joints. So we're like, all right, we, we, we can fit that niche right there and answer that problem. It was a big gamble, you know, because I quit my job at the other place yeah. to do this. We just had a lot of support and a lot of locals here that, that came out and helped us spread the word. and. We pay huge attention to detail on our guest service. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Hell yeah. What would you say makes your burgers stand out from all the other ones around? What really stands our burgers out besides the quality of the meat is the clutch rub. Our quality of our buns is huge. When you're in here grabbing lunch, those buns are probably dropped off four or five hours ago. What business advice would you have for someone starting off? 
in a restaurant game or just in just any? in general uh know your numbers and know, uh, i've been hearing and, that and know what you're doing like the restaurant game it's not for everybody it's it, it's a really tough industry and uh that's why there's a lot of competition a lot of competition it's not something that just catches fire and is self-sufficient right off the bat but having the right staff would be my next major point like you're not gonna always be there you can't always be there otherwise you'll go crazy so having people that you trust mm -hmm. your staff your staff, staff your staff to find you all right guys make sure to check out clutch burger located in coral gables it's clutch saw what i did there <laughs> clutch clever um, no, but really, it's really, really good. The burgers, as you can see, they're big, gourmet, just amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to eating. I have a lot left to go. I'm loving it. But if you like this video, please make sure to share it with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the next ones coming up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.